Hello, so this week I'm gonna show you how to play with split screens. So like a lot of, I don't know, videos showing at the same time. Maybe you have a music video with multiple instruments or something. Uh, this isn't a request, but it's something I've been working on. So I thought I'd show you how I do it. First things first, let's save this project. Because in case you didn't know, um, Canal Live has a great um, autosave feature but you need to have saved it at least once. Okay, so I don't have any videos to use for this project, but I'm gonna just um, add color clips and do it with clips and it's the same as if it was something else. I'm gonna add like 12 of them, so I will speed it up. Okay, so I think this is enough. Um, I can use the same one multiple times, it's okay. So first thing you're gonna want to do is add some tracks, because you need more than the number of videos you want at the same time. So insert track, above, all good, yep. And I'm gonna do that like... I guess I'll start with 10 of them. Actually, 11. And I'll probably add more at one point. Okay, so we got our 11 ones, and now, how do you do this here? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't use this one that often, and I'm not sure how to change the height. Uh, I can do it like this, like 30. Why did that not work? That worked. Okay. Yeah, because we have a lot of tracks and I want to be able to see them all more or less at the same time. So we'll start with 9, so I'll take the first 9, I guess, and actually put them on the second track, because I like it with a white background. You can use a dark background or whatever colored background you want, of course. Um, and I'll add a white color clip as well. So as I was saying, of course, the color clips are not real clips, but the white one is a real color clip. So now I'm gonna split the screen. To do this, I'm gonna add a transform effect. So you can just look for it, transform. And add it on the first one. And I want nine clips at the same time, at the same time here. So I'm gonna change the size to 32%. Um, because I want a little, um, what's it called? Uh, it has a name, like a thing between, you know? I don't want them to be like next to each other, I want a little space between them. Uh, and then I'm just gonna drag and drop this on the other clips, uh, at least on the first three, but uh, it will be on all of them. Actually, what you could even do is you select all of the remaining ones and it doesn't work with the new card on life. I don't like it. Well, it, with the other ones, it stayed on the effect and then you can drag it on all of the clips. Um, I guess I'll have to do it one by one. I could also like copy and paste it. I'm not sure I have the... Let's try it. I don't know if I have the... What's it called? Short uh, cuts, short cuts. Yes, it works. So yeah, you uh, you can co paste effects if you right click, and um, I put it to Control P. Um, okay, I have it on all of them. Um, should where is it here? It shouldn't be on the white one. And then I'm gonna make them all move at the right places with these little thing is. So center, center, for this one, right here and center here, right and bottom, center and bottom, and right and bottom. Okay, so the thing here is you can see that there's not the same spacing here and here. I don't know about you, but it bothers me. So I'm gonna change the. Um, I'm gonna crop all of the clips a little bit. 
uh, I use crop scale and tilt and okay does anybody know why it doesn't show the fucking effects because it's so annoying I want to know what's on what clip <gasps> mm. I'm gonna crop the bottom on the first row oh yeah I need to exchange the two effects because right now it's cropping here but there's nothing here um, yeah so I want to put it higher uh, I think about 20 might be the right choice then I'm gonna drag it on the top two and exchange to effects and then I'm gonna add the same effect on the first middle one and I'm gonna well also exchange and crop both the top and the bottom so like 10 and 10 and again drag and drop on the other middle ones and on the last one because uh, I can just ch change this to 20 and this to 0 and again crop drop drop exchange uh, to fx did I do it wrong here? yeah don't do it twice I think we're good. So here everything is nicely spaced up. So you could just stop here if you don't want any effects. You can just have your videos playing like this. But I want to add some more. Yes, always more. Um, so if you have like somebody else coming in and doing another instrument, let's take another clip. Shorten this one. Add this one instead. come here and copy this clip with Control c and then here you do paste effects and now it's going to be in the right place so you can see here the red is going to be replaced by the yellow so you could do that for all of them at the same time not at the same time whatever you want and then i would like to make them all move at the same time so i'm going to add a composite and transform transition to the first track in this case actually I'm gonna want it to move and have another background so I'm gonna add the other track right now I'm just gonna I have a yeah add a track under this time okay so now it's not gonna be on V1 it's gonna be on V2 okay it's confused yes on V2 that's perfect I don't know why it says V1 here. Well, I should be good enough. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this onto all of the other layers. Move them to be all aligned. And right now it's not great, but if I add another white background and I add another composition transform and to this why is it so laggy? come on computer also composite and transform on the, la on the bottom one and now I'm gonna say oh I want it to be smaller maybe like 73% so I can add other players coming in like at first you had 9 people now you have 12 so you want to be able to have more space for more people here uh, actually gonna make this move because it would be nicer so I'm gonna add a frame here and another frame here and I'm gonna put this back to 100% and recenter it and same for this one okay so right now if I go at this place it's gonna move very mm, smoothly so you could also change the keyframes of course so I'm actually gonna change them to smooth because it will be better and I'm gonna add some more people coming in into the thing so they're gonna come at this keyframe 
So green isn't here yet. Let's put green. Green is gonna go here. So we can just copy and paste the effects that I see that are here. And then add another transform effect. The thing here is that I want it to be. No, uh, where did I put that? No. I'm gonna add the transform effect. I have it saved in my favorites here. So I can just add it here. And why oh, I have to learn. I'm stupid. I'm gonna put it at less percents, you know, because the first one was thirty percents, and now it's like twenty-five, twenty-four maybe. Um, to try and find the right size. This is actually not bad, but the big one. It's too small, so I'm gonna put it at more than 73. 74? Hmm, 75. And same here, here. Now I want it a bit smaller. Um, that actually seems perfect. Oh wait, I didn't move it back. It's a bit too small. You know, it's all about. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you could do the math. I'm just uh, adjusting it by eye. And I want to crop it actually a little tiny bit more at the bottom. Okay, it's working. I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, that seems that seems good. Right now, if we play it, it's gonna be kind of weird because it just here. And then it's okay, so yeah, it looks awful. But you still want it to move with everybody else. So you're gonna add this uh, composition transform again to the first track, V1. And we're gonna go to the second keyframe and add a keyframe here, and this is the end one. And at the beginning, it's gonna be slightly bigger. So like 132% maybe, something like that. And a bit to the right, and here. So like, right now it's exactly here, but you can't see it because it's hidden. But if I move like a few frames at a time, you're gonna see it appear. It's not exactly right. So I'm gonna move it a little tiny bit more to the right and see if it's better. And this is perfect. And so you can do this with all of the... like you can add more tracks, more people, and yeah, this works perfectly for if you have multiple people doing stuff at the same time that you want to showcase. So I hope you liked this video and feel free to fill the request forms. I only have two left on the form, I think, so lots of space, and I will see you next week, probably. Bye-bye.